God bless you. God has a beautiful plan for everyone's life and yours. So he shows that by the way you live. So faithful, so generous. Bishop Ross and all the men at Star, I hope you all have a very happy Father's Day. I miss you all. May God bless you this Father's Day with the wonder of his love. God bless you, Sister Sutton. Thank you. This one says, a little note of thanks to the church. Thank you so much for the gift. Just want you to know how thankful I am. Brother Braxton Walker.
Thank you, Lord. We praise you. Thank you, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, yes, Remember yes. the seniors yes. of our church, oh God. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. 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 Remember the seniors everywhere, oh God. Yes. Remember the young people, oh God. Yes, Lord. Just remember us all. Remember yes. each minister. Remember yes. our elder right now, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes. Continue to hold them up and touch them, oh God. Yes, Lord. Yes. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Father, Jesus. Father, all these blessings we have. In your precious name, we pray. We love you, Lord. unto the Lord, O ye mighty. Give unto the Lord glory and strength. Give unto the Lord the glory due unto his name. Worship the Lord in the beauty of holiness. The voice of the Lord is upon the waters. The Lord of glory thunder. The Lord is upon many waters. The voice of the Lord is powerful. Yes. The voice of the Lord is full of majesty. Yes. The voice of the Lord breaketh asunder. Yes. Yea, the Lord breaketh asunder of Lebanon. Mm -hmm. He maketh them also to skip like a, a calf, mm -hmm. Lebanon and Selah, mm -hmm. like a young unicorn. The voice of the Lord is divided the flames of fire. The voice of the Lord shaketh the wilderness. The Lord shaketh the wilderness in Kadesh. The voice of the Lord maketh the hinds to calf right, and discovereth right. the forest. Mm -hmm. And in his temple doth every one speak of his glory. Right. The Lord sitteth upon the flood, yea, the Lord sitteth king forever. The Lord will give strength unto his people. The Lord will bless his people with peace. Yes. I have read in your hearing the entire uh, 29th division of Psalms. And may the Lord add a blessing to the reading of his word. And may his word ever be sanctified within your hearts. Amen. Amen.
Father's Day. Amen. Have a great Amen. remainder of the day. May God's blessing be upon you. Father's on this Father's The Lord bless you. This also is Juneteenth. Today as well. Uh, today of liberation. Uh, it's a day of honoring the end of slavery in the United States. And so patient of proclamation was issued by President Abraham Lincoln, January 1st, 1863, had established that all enslaved people in the Confederate state in rebellion against the Union shall be then henceforth forever free. Amen. And that's why we have the Chief Team as a now federal holiday. The 
son said to him, Father, I have sinned against heaven and against you. I am no longer worthy to be called your son. For the father said to his servants, quick, bring the best of him, put on him. Put a ring on his finger and sandals on his feet. Bring the fattened calf and kill it. Let's have a feast and celebrate. For this son of mine was dead and is alive again. He was lost and is found. So they begin to celebrate. The time we shall together, I want to talk from Sunday ago of the Father's love. Verse 11, mm -hmm. Jesus continued, and he says that he, he continued the parable. Because if you look at this 15th chapter, there was other parables before this one. Amen. The parable of the lost coin, mm -hmm. uh, the parable of the lost sheep. Mm -hmm. And then we get to the third parable of the lost son. Mm -hmm. This son was called the prodigal son. Yes. Right. King James Version. The prodigal son, the prodigal son. The prodigal, what does the word prodigal mean? I'm glad you asked me. It's one who is reckless. Reckless. Extravagant. Who spends money wastefully. Doesn't have a budget. I might want to hang right there for a minute. He just spends his money on her just Recklessly, mm -hmm. wastefully, mm -hmm. have no financial plan, just spends. Mm -hmm. This son became weary of his father's house. He became weary of his father's house mm -hmm. and decided he wanted to leave. Mm -hmm. Have some of us been like that? Mm -hmm. Even younger, I asked how he'd go. Mm -hmm. I'm going to bounce. Uh -huh. I can't take these rules and situations. I'm going to bounce. That's the way he felt. Yeah. He was sick and tired of being under the roof of his father, so he said, it's time for me to leave. Mm -hmm. <laughs> he wanted all his portions. Mm -hmm. It was given him in verse 12 of the inheritance mm -hmm. of all his estate. Yeah. He wanted it right now. At the right now time, he wanted it. The Bible says in the New the New the next verse that there was a man who had two sons. Two sons. A younger son and an older son. Verse 12, the younger said, said to his father, give me the share of my estate. Give, give me what's mine. I'm not going to wait till you pass. I want mine right now. I want it right now. So his father didn't argue with him. Did debate with him. He gave him his property, what was his. He gave it to him. The father was gracious to fulfill the request. This is the fulfill the request of the son and gave him his full portion. Everything that belonged to him, he gave it to him. He didn't argue with him, he gave it to him. Now, I just now to be real. One of my sons said that, oh, he's going to wait. <laughs> well, if you want to step, step. <laughs> you on your own, brother. <laughs> step it. But he was gracious. He did not argue. He did not debate. He gave him all his portions that was allotted to him. <laughs> but watch this. Not long after that. The younger son got all he had and set off to a distant country <laughs> and squandered. The, 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 the new internet person, he squandered, squandered his wealth on wild living. I believe the King James says, riotous living. <laughs> which means reckless living. Yeah. All right. All right. Uh -huh. The prodigal son eventually took his share of his liquid assets. Mm -hmm. 
abandoned his father and head into a life and head to a life of iniquity. That's what he prayed. A life of sin. Yes. I'm going to that. Sin and degradation. Yes. No, he, he merely wasted all his money on immorality. Mm -hmm. On women. Mm -hmm. Hello. Mm -hmm. Girls. Mm -hmm. Can I paint the pictures of the demon? Mm -hmm. He wasted money at strip joints. Mm -hmm. He wasted money in bars. Mm -hmm. He wasted money on prostitutes. Riotous living. Look at the picture of his son, how reckless his life was when he left. Watch it. He left the covering. Let me say that again. When he left the covering, his protection had left him. He left his covering. His covering was his father's house. I gotta say it again. He left his covering and he left his father's house. Long as under the roof of his father, he was blessed. All right, all right, all right. But when he left the father's house, his blessing left. Yeah. 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 When he left his father's house, his protection left. Right. Yeah. He thought he was big enough, born enough to leave and do what he wanted to do. And all that. But I can tell you something because when you leave the covenant of God, you won't be made of consequences. There are consequences to be paid when you leave the shelter and the arms and the protection of God. When you pay, you big enough. You bold enough to leave God's house and do what you want to do. You lose your protection. Can I say something? You lose your anointing. And I'm not talking about going to preach none of that. You lose your anointing. Mm. Went to a far country, <laughs> spent all his money freely on sinful pleasures. Watch 14, I'll be you in a minute. There's a principle here. After he spent all everything, there was a severe, there was a severe famine in the whole country. The whole country. And he began to be in need. Watch this. The whole country. Let me do this way. The whole state of Kentucky. It wasn't just Georgetown. It wasn't just Louisville. It wasn't just Winchester. It was the whole state of Kentucky. So the whole country was in a famine. You think it's bad now in the recession? That was nothing. nothing. Amen. This was in the whole country. He was in need. As soon as his friends were gone, a severe depression gripped the land. As long as he had money, he had friends. When the money left, the friends left. Keep in mind, there's a fact in the whole country. The whole country. Watch 15. It was so bad. Before I go any further than 15, this young man was a Jew. Keep in mind, this young man was a Jew. And there are some things that Jews do not customarily do or allow themselves to do because they're Jewish tradition. So in 15, so he went and hired, he has out of money. He has no resources at all. His revenue is gone. He went and hired himself out as a citizen of that country. And who sent him into his field, the owner, into his field to feed he says swine. And says pigs. 
listen to this, the Jewish audience swine was the worst sort of unclean animal. If you go into Leviticus, it talks about how the pigs were unclean. Yeah. And so this is the worst thing for a Jewish young lad or a Jewish person to do is to eat pigs. He's hungry. He's about to be hungry. All right. Look at this. He longed to fill his stomach with the pies, the husk that the pigs did eat. Keep in mind, he's a Jewish young man. And they don't deal with pigs, swine, and hogs. But he was so destitute that he was his. He was hungry. But what's nobody gave him nothing to eat? Not even the man who hired him gave him anything to eat. Check that out. Not no one gave him anything to eat. His, his stomach is growling. He's hungry. No one gave him anything to eat. this way. Swine food was, this is indigestible. This is the food that the swine ate was undigestible. Bad on the digestive system. Bad on the intestines. <laughs> For humans. The reason he could not eat the swine food, because he remembered his tradition. All right. Even though he desired to eat mm -hmm. the husk or the pods of the pig or the swine, he remembered. Wait a minute. Thank you, Lord. He remembered the teaching. <laughs> Watch this. Thank you, Lord. He got away from his teaching. But right. God brought him to a lower point place. Amen. He brings him to a low place yeah. and to the remembrance of what he was taught. As bad, as hungry as I am, I refuse to eat this undigestible food. Because that's what I was taught not to do that. Wait a minute. 17. I call 17. Talk to yourself. Y'all heard me say before. You ain't crazy, you talk to yourself. Amen. It's just, you crazy, you talk crazy back to yourself. Because every day, you gotta talk to yourself. Amen. Okay, you don't believe me, In 1 Samuel chapter 30, verse number 6, David talked to himself. He really said, he, he encouraged himself in the Lord. Yeah. He strengthened himself in the Lord. Yeah. He spoke, he talked, he encouraged himself. And here this young man is in a down situation. And here's what he said in 17. He says he comes to him, King says, he comes to himself. The new NIV says this, he comes to his senses. He says, how many of my father's house servants, our servants, have food to spare enough, and I am here starving to death. Mm. He talks to himself. But I call 18 confession time. He speaks to himself in 17. But as he speaks to himself in 17, he, he repents in 18. Watch. He said, I was set out to go back to my father's house and say to him, Father, I have sinned, he's a principal, I have sinned against heaven and I sinned against you. Back up. I have sinned against heaven. He sinned against God. First, 
He sins against God. He talks to himself. He says, I got to first of all, I got to repent to God. Number one. And that is number two. I am no longer to call your son. Make me a hired servant. I mess up. I jack my life up. Number one, I'm repenting to God. God, I'm sorry. And go back to my dad and tell him I'm sorry too. Can I go this way? I got to talk to Big Daddy first. And then I talk to little, little daddy. Yeah. Let me talk to Calvin F daddy yeah. first and talk to Lord case daddy secondly. Right. Watch the text as it unfolds even further. Yeah. He realized his situation. But he also understood the gravity of his transgressions. Against the father. And against him only. He carefully contemplates what he would say <laughs> nah, nah, nah. and kind of the cause of the new repentance. Think about what he was saying, what he would say to his father when he met his father. Yeah. Mm. Mm -hmm. 19. I am no longer worthy mm -hmm. to be called your son. Mm -hmm. Make me like one of your hard servants. It don't matter right now. Right. I need to get back with you. Yeah. There it is right there. Oh, yeah. It doesn't matter what I, uh, who I am now. I'm on this summer, but it doesn't matter. Just make me a servant. Yeah. Yeah. Watch it. That I can be in the right standards with you, my yeah. father. Yeah. Come on, somebody. Yeah. Do something now. Yeah. Put me in the right standards. To put me in as a servant will put me in the right standards with God and with yeah. you. Mm. It don't matter who I am right. in the world. It's my, it's my that I'm attached to who yeah. brought me back. Yeah. It's called attachment. Yeah. I got detached when I left your house. Right. But now I'm coming back to be reattached. Yeah. Yeah. Let me tell you something. We can send the house of God. Like I said, we can like, send the house of God and be detached. Yeah. 
be Holy Ghost. But when you get to the rock bottom, God will touch your heart and say, Now I can talk to you. Because as long as things are going well in our lives, we are not going to talk to God on the regular. But when you're down and out, rock bottom, God will get your attention. Hallelujah. He got this boy's attention. And the Bible says he cleared. The father had been waiting and longing for his son to return. And when he saw him, he ran to him. He didn't wait to come to him. He ran to him. The father ran to the son. He was filled with compassion. And that's a father. A real father. He was still with compassion. Can I go? Our heavenly father is still waiting on us who are sitting back while being in the church. He's still waiting well for us. His arms wide open, coming to me all oh, your later. And heaven, I will give you rest. He's waiting daily. Can I tell you something and something else too? Because when the boy, thank you, Holy Ghost, when the boy came to himself, this was he, he God moved out pride. Because the boy was quiet for when he left. Give me my stuff. Give me my hand. Give me all my stuff. He was, he pride had set in. But God brought the boy so low that pride had died. Pride had to die. And I believe he was in a good home. I believe he was read. Proverbs said one of the seven deadly sins is pride. Yes. And arrogance. Yes. Watch this. I'm coming home. Mm. He had compassion. He ran to his son. He threw his arms around. And he kissed him. Now wait a minute. Watch this. This is a principle right here. The boy went with pigs. He smelled like pigs. He had a stench to him. He had a pig stench. Watch this. Heaven paint this guy. This boy smelled like pigs. Clothes all jacked up. Smelled like pigs. He's in the environment of pigs. Dirty, nasty. Let me get it in. He's dirty, he's nasty. He's been in the pig pen. He's been with the pigs. He's been in the hog. He's been in the swine. He smells like this. His clothes are not what they used to be. He's been in the environment of pigs. He's been in the pig style. Why the text? But he kissed him. He doesn't say you nasty. Ooh, gee, there's a question like that. He doesn't say you nasty. No, he don't. You dirty. You smell like a swine. He goes against our tradition. He hugs him. And not only does he hug him, he kisses him. He shows authentic love for the son. God is the same way. It don't matter where we've been, but all we come back to Him. Yeah. We can smell like sin. Right. We can even look like sin. Yeah. But God's got His arms wide open, ready to hug us and kiss us over the neck. The Father's eagerness and joy Woo, Jesus. at the Son's return right. is unmistakable. Mm, mm, mm. 21. Wow. The son said to him, Father, I have sinned against heaven and against you. I am no longer worthy to call your son. This pictures the God's eagerness to forgive. This principle 21 is a principle that God is willing to forgive. Or even eager to forgive. The father's eager to forgive the son. It didn't matter what he did, but then he did. 22. I'll go to 22. 
from saving him for the fifth or sixth time. He was smelling like pigs. He was in a pig sack. His nose was smelling like pigs. He was dirt, dirty, nasty, grungy clothes. He was jacked up physically. He was jacked up spiritually. He was jacked up in his clothes. He was jacked up. His father hugs him. His father kisses him. Our God made love. Yes. Not depending yes. on who you are, what you look like. Our God made love. God type yes. love. No matter what you did, what you been doing, and all that, I still love you. Yes. No matter where you been, I still love you. Yes. And I'm still waiting for you to come back home. Yes. Watch this in 22. The Father said to his servants, before I go any further, go back. I'm going to repeat myself. He says, I'm no longer worthy to be called your son. Yes, Make me one of your hard servants. But watch. Ooh, Jesus, 22. His father said to the servant, quick. Blue in the next word, quick. Come here, quick. Man. Bring, must bring the best robe. Put on him. He was messed up. Right. Smell like swine. Cold jack of a nap, he gets the best. Yeah. There's a principle here. Because he repents yes. to God, because he repents to the Father, God starts to bring restoration. Yes. Restoration has finally come. Yes. And so now he's in the restoration period now. He brings. His son who was lost, the not just a rope, y'all. Right. The Bible says in the NIV says, bring the best rope. Right. Yeah. 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 He been messed up in his clothes, mm -hmm. but bring him the best rope. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Watch this. Watch this. Not only bring him the best rope, put on him, but give him a ring to put on his face. Yeah. 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 Shoes nothing more out. Or he didn't even have no shoes. Yeah. But her daddy said, but give him some new sandals. Yeah. Can I break the wall yet? Give him some Stacy Adams, Zelda. Yeah. Give him some Stacy Adams. Give him the best Stacy Adams. Yeah. All right. Put it on his feet. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. My son that was lost is now found. My son that was dead spiritually is now alive. Special occasions. Uh -huh. This is a special occasion. Uh -huh. 
All symbolize the lavishness of salvation's blessings. The lavishness of salvation's blessings. Woo, Jesus. Watch this. I'm going to close 24. For the Son of Mine was dead. I just told you that. He's alive again. He was lost, but he's found now. They begin to celebrate. But I, got, I can't be like this, y'all. I got to talk about that, brother. He's upset. Yeah, yeah. He's mad. Yeah, yeah. He's jealous. Yeah. He had a wrong spirit. Right. He had a wrong spirit. Y'all hear me? He had a wrong spirit. Amen. I'm saying again, he's got the wrong spirit. Yeah. Number one, he has a question what's going on? Yeah. What's all this thing to do? Mm -hmm. When the servant said, This is your brother who was lost, but now fine. Uh -huh. And then he goes on, has the audacity to say this. So I've been with you all this time, I never left you. Strife, mm -hmm. jealousy mm -hmm. in the camp. Yeah. Yeah. Watch this whenever God's moving. Mm -hmm. Be careful. Right. Right. Yeah. The enemy wants to mess up the celebration. Yeah. He tried to mess the celebration, but I want you to know yeah. when God is in a celebration, yeah. God can't nobody mess the celebration. All right. All right. All right. <laughs> All right. Yes, the Father, the Father's love. Mm -hmm. As I close, there's a celebration. I want to tell us something. God is always there. Yeah. All the time, yeah. God is always there. Yeah. You've been praying for your son or your daughter for a long period of time. And I want you to say you something yeah. from this story here, this parable that Jesus brings before us today in Luke's Gospel, chapter 15, and verse, really verse uh, uh, 11 through uh, 32 talks about how God loves and how God still is out waiting for his people to come back to him. Yes. And it's time, when they come back, it's time for celebration. Yes. It's time to not be jealous. Yes. It's not time to be spiteful, yes. spiteful and prideful and all this. It's time for celebration. Because let me tell you something, when you start celebrating for somebody else, God bless you. Yes. Yes. you know what when we start celebrating with God, with somebody else, God will bless us, and we ain't got to say nothing about it. Amen. What we need, because God knows what we need. Yes, God will just call you praise. Yes. For somebody else, I'm going to bless you. Yes. You ain't got to ask me because you blessed me for somebody else. Yes. I'm going to bless you. Yes. On credit. Yes. I don't know about you, but I can create credit blessing. Yes. 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 That means I don't have the blessing yet, but it's on the way. Yes. And in the meantime, while this home is away, yeah. I'm going to bless God anyhow yeah. for somebody else. Yeah. Because I told y'all reason, because when they talked about it in chapter 7, verse number 9, they began to get between, yeah. before the throne and they began to worship God everybody. Yeah. They were all in one accord. They were all in unison. They were all in harmony. And they began to bless God. Yeah. And they began to bless the Holy God and the Lamb of God.
disappeared. Touch 
in the name of Jesus. Touch the spirit's forward. Touch and bless her in the mighty hand by the way, God. Oh, that move by your mighty hand and your mighty power. Touch in the name of Jesus. God, I pray, God, you bless the, uh, the Johnson family. The loss of the loved one, God, give comfort and give strength. You reach where no one can reach and you touch where no one can touch. You do it as only you can do. Not only that Marie family, but Marie family is that Give that comfort, give that strength as only you can do. And you reach, you touch where no one can touch. Do as only you can do, God. In the name of Jesus, we pray. These blessings we ask in Jesus' mighty cross and name we pray. And we do thank you. Thank you. Amen. 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 Amen.